Hello, all my friends out there in TV, uh, cell phone, um, laptop, iPad world, YouTube world. Hello, I'm Billy the Crafty Floridian, and this is going to be a long video, <coughs> I think. As soon as I clear my throat, <coughs> I haven't chit chat with anybody today. Oh my goodness, that looks like a bug. Ooh, it's a dead bug. Oh my goodness. It's a very buggy place, Florida. You never know when you're gonna come across one. Anyway, it's quite warm. It's in the 80s today. Um, I'm, um, I got lots of things to go over with you. <coughs> and so I would, I think I'm gonna start out with the Dammit Dolls. So that way, if you see one that you like, you can get your, but let me explain everything. The Dammit Dolls are $15 and that includes shipping, okay? The way you order it is that you email me and my email address is always in the description below. Um, people make comments saying, I like to order one, but I don't have your um, email address. I need your email address so that I can invoice you on PayPal. You do not have to have a PayPal account to pay through PayPal. You just have to go in and click and all that good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, um, I'm sorry that I can't answer every one of you guys, but I'm doing the best I can. Um, I find that it takes so much. I, I know I'm slow because my my hands are starting to hurt and they kind of lock up when I do a lot of typing. And I want to, first of all, thank all the wonderful emails I've gotten and the stories that you've told me. And I know that I would love to sit down and tell you a whole bunch of stuff, but this is my my tool of communication is through the videos and email is just a little bit harder. My mouth works better than my hands. <laughs> but I am going to go through the comments and answer some of your questions. Um, I do not have a, um, the pattern for the Damn It Dolls is something that I drew up myself. I just looked at a bunch of videos and uh, pine rest, pine rest, pen rest. <laughs> oh, I'm starting out good, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, so that's it. Coin purses, if you want the uh, a pattern for that, go on uh, Crystal at Bag o Day. She does a coin purse um, tutorial with um, uh, acrylic yarn, and you can do whatever, whatever means of fiber that you want to use. You can use cotton or whatever. <clears throat> I have not made cloth coin purses yet, but it's something on my bucket list <laughs> along with the other other stuff. Yeah, I have all these creative ideas and I like following through on them. Um, I used to make Damn It Dolls crochet them and decorate them. I'm not decorate them, accessorize them and all that stuff. And that got a little bit too much for me. So these Dammit dolls are made out of uh, fabric that I have left over from bags. And I give them a little hair and that's it. I don't, it, a lot of stuffing. The stuffing happens to be the hardest on my hands, but uh, this weekend I made a bunch. So I wanted to show them. Uh, some of them that I made, um, I'll show you two that I made this weekend that I've already sold. Um, someone had asked for me to pick out two for their granddaughters, for her granddaughters. So I picked out Ladybug and Miss Blue. So those are two that I made this this weekend. So, um, so these are already going out to someone else. Just to be clear, those are not for sale. I just wanted to show you those two that I made. <clears throat> okay, so let's start. Let me start here. This is this is uh, Miss Cat or Mr. Cat, whatever you want to say. These are cats, and he's got his gray hair sticking up. There's this little thing. So that's the first one. This is Miss Cat, 
and it's blue with the kitty cats on it. Is he cute? Isn't he cute? And this is Miss Wino. This is Miss Wino. And she's got, I should have put that in the back, shouldn't I? So she's got wine bottles all over her little body. And she's got a neat little hairdo that I designed for her. Yeah, you got to be creative with the hair. Because the rest of it is just mundane, right? So this is Miss Wino. I think she's cute. Look, I got the bottle right in the middle there. I love that, the white wine. And here's Miss Southwest. This is Miss Southwest. Is that the front? Yeah, that's the front. She's got little bangs, which keeps sticking up because of the way she's got little hair. And so this is Miss Wine. This is Miss Southwest. I only have one of these. I, I think each one of these are just one of each. So, um, because that's the way I like to do them. And they're my David dolls, so I do them the way I want them. <laughs> so this is Miss Southwest. A lot of people like this fabric. So uh, we'll see if we have any. I, I just think she's cute. Then we have Miss Spool. This is Miss Spool. And her fabric is scissors and pin cushions. This is a different one than the other one. And there and she's got a little embellishment in her hair and uh, I was lucky enough I got I had these little tiny uh, Lion Brand um, uh, sample yarns that someone sent me in different colors and I've been using those for the hair so that that's the color just just went perfect with Miss Spool so this is Miss Spool oh my goodness and pull out the other box okay and this is Miss Cow. Let me see, I got her hair. Here we go. Her hair is all over the place. This is Miss Cow. She's got a little cow pen in her hair. And she's in black and white. So I call her Miss Cow. And there's her cow. Where's her hair? Why is her hair up there? Oh, there we go. There we go. There she is. Miss Cow she cute I found this too in in some of my um, yarn that people had sent me all along so this is Miss Cow in black and white and I love this one Miss Blueberry here's the blueberry let me see if I got it right yeah this is Miss Blueberry and here's the little ponytails isn't she cute I just love her but I love the blueberries. So this is Miss Blueberry with the ponytails. And here's Miss Daisy. This is Miss Daisy. And I made her out of this Daisy material. And she's also got ponytails. It seems to be easier with this yarn to put them in ponytails. But here's Miss Daisy. There she is all full of daisies and the blue blue and white check on the blue and white check gingham or whatever you want to call it so that's miss daisy and here's miss miss flower i guess miss pink flower pink flower this is miss pink flower and she's got her little neat little hairdo up there and these are all pink little pink flowers and yellow flowers she cute she got the braided look going there and here we go with miss butterfly this is miss butterfly and this i know y'all have seen this I'm sure i'm sure you've seen this fabric around and then i braided her hair look at that she's got a braid down the back and a braid on each side isn't she cute so this is Miss Butterfly. Yep, Miss Butterfly. And here's Miss Purple. This is purple. And is this is a uh, this material is um, batik, and she's purple and gold. And I gave her these little funny little purple 
little gold hair. But this is Miss Purple. She cute. Yeah, I did make a lot, didn't I? And here we go. What are we going to call her? I think we're going to call her... Um, well, we got Miss Daisy. Why don't we just call her... And we got Miss Purple. I guess we could call her... Um, huh. I was going to say chrysanthemum, but that's a hard word to spell, isn't it? Let's just call her Miss Miss Daisy 2. Okay, this is Miss Daisy. This is Miss Daisy 1. This is Miss Daisy 2. One with the coral hair, one with the yellow hair. But they're both daisies. And she cute. They're so cute. Wait a minute. I'm bouncing this on the screen. I'm going to lose lose you guys here in a minute. But this is Miss Daisy 2. And my last one is Miss Mustard. This is Miss Mustard. That's the color, mustard. And I gave her this, the, the white hair. Here, where are you? Get over there. It's got a lot of static in it, so it lays pretty nice. But this is Miss Mustard, and this yarn, uh, this fabric has yarn balls on it. Um, just yarn balls. I was thinking, I thought it had a hook, but it doesn't. Her hair is all over the place. She sheds like crazy. So that's Miss Mustard. So those are the dolls that I've made and are available. I have I have people saying, oh, just pick out one. But you pick them out. I know someone I've given, I've already told that they pick out two and uh, who had put in for order before and before I sold out. So, um, so if you see one you like, email me. They're $15. That includes shipping. I think she's cute with the hair in the back. Isn't that cool? Miss Butterfly. All right, let me stick her in this box. I got two boxes going down here with these babies in them. Okay, and Miss Southwest. I love her. All right. Okay, so just to to go over that, email me if you want one. If you put it in the comments, I don't recognize it. You have to email me. Email address is bmills, bmills0213 at aol.com, and it's always in the description if you want one. And I use PayPal to invoice you. My lipstick is running. You know how us southern ladies have to have our lipstick on. Oh. Now, next thing I want to show you is I ordered some new thank you cards from Vista. While they're sitting right here, I just thought I'd show you. And this was just a kind of like a trial. And this is the, the new card. And on the back, it just has, I don't know how that happened, but it has my um, AOL. I mean, you can't miss it. I always put my, uh, my um, description, my, my um, email address on everything. Because that's how I, that's how I go, baby. That's how I fly. So that's, that's my thank you card. And then I thought I'd do something special. There are some people that order a lot of stuff from me. And I wanted to figure out a way that I could thank them a little beyond just a thank you. So I ordered these thank you hugs, Billy. Please take 20% off your next order. So I ordered these and these will be included with your purchase. Um, not everybody, but, you know, I just wanted to have something special to send to people that seem to order from me all the time. I'm not being prejudiced, but 
you know, there's a one-time order here. But there are, are folks that really order a lot from me. And I wanted to show them. And then on the back, I had them put the things that I sell the most of and what the price is. And um, please email me with your order and let me know if you have, have this coupon. And, of course, my email address is right below Crafty Floridian. And then it says here, please take 20% off your next order. So that will be included in an order. So I got those today, too. So I'm real happy with them. I really am. I'm very happy with them. Okay. Um, what else did I... Oh, this is... Should I go there? No, let me go here. All right. You know I'm doing Nan's next knot cow. So let, let me show you. We had Thursday, we had our um, second color drawing. And mine, get my little pieces of paper out. And the second week was the sweet roll cappuccini. Cappuccin, cappuccin, cap, cappuccino pop. That's the name of it. Sweet roll. Yeah. No, this is the other one. Here. Wait a minute. Let me get my, got my strings all screwed up here. So this is and this is the cappuccino right here. Isn't that pretty? That's coming out pretty good, I thought. And uh, you can see where the color changed from the white to the, uh, well, it's a cream color and this brownish color. So that's, I, I can't wait to Thursday. I think we get the next color. So as I was, and I, I tied in all my ends. So I think that's going to be a nice, it's going to be a nice little blanket, I think. So, and it's lightweight. It feels real lightweight, which I like. And I think it's because it's done with a J-hook on this fabric. So, I mean on this yarn. So, I'm... Wait a minute, let me get so, as I was doing this, I said, wait a minute. I think I'll do another one. So, I started another one. And this one, I had a bucket, not a bucket, a tote sitting next to the couch with this yarn in it that I've kind of collected all over the place when I was trying to do this kind of stuff. So I got, the main color is the tan, this tan color, which was a, you know, a, a million. And then I got um, dark green, lilac, dark blue, ferris wheel, yellow, red heart, red heart red, forest green, and royal blue. So the first color was number eight, and the second color was number three. So it was royal blue and dark blue. Uh, oh, no, it's not going to look. Well, anyway, here we go. It looks okay, doesn't it? So I'm doing this a little bit different than the other one. Put more window rows in it. But that's the light. This, I think, is a three, but I used it anyway. And um, it came out okay. Put a little bit of damper on the end here, but that's all right. That can be fixed. But anyway, so this is the second one that I'm doing. So now we're going to wait because it doesn't take any time at all to, to add your new rows. You're only adding like six rows. And so um, I said, well, I'm going to do another one. So this is the second one. So I'm doing two. Doing two of those. Okay, so that's where we are on that right yep I don't know how many stitches I just did it and I laid it on me and said well that's it it's not for me but it'll be a gift or something so that's where I am on that okay now so that, that, that. oh and I got a card another bounce around and this card is from my friend Priscilla and it's a beautiful card isn't that pretty thinking of you I love it. I love that card. As soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. Thank you. I got this yesterday. Thank you so much. Then I got this box. And I'll let you know, I went, um, I so enjoyed the 
the box that I got from Petra at Petra y'all know Petra oh god I can't think of it. Petra yarn it out no that's not it Petra's happy place Petra's happy place so I went on her Etsy shop found her Etsy shop and I found that she had two bags left one one was baby yarn the other was uh, you know like uh, thicker yarn like fives and sixes or whatever so I said oh my goodness I'll just go ahead and I'm gonna I'm re-enraging here I'll go ahead and get both of those because I'm gonna give some to my niece and especially the the thicker yarn and uh, then the baby yarn uh, to make baby stuff for the reservation i mean we got all year to make baby baby stuff right so he, the box came today uh, i even have a had a neighbor said hey can i carry that in for you i said oh no i got it i got it oh my gosh Ooh -hoo. Thanks, Bill. You're a hoot, and I love you, Petra. <laughs> well, honey, I love you, too. All right. Look at this, guys. Would you see this? This is ice yarn. And it's wool blend, and it's unusual. I'm gonna, I have to take one out so y'all can see it. This is like, um, look at this. This is like, you'd have to put four or five of these together. Let's see what it says. It says it's 15% mohair, 15% wool, 30% acrylic, and 40% polymade. It doesn't, uh, wait a minute, let's see what it says on this side. It's like a, a one or something. Well, it doesn't really say on these. Or if it does, I don't see it. But anyway, look at that. It's very stringy. Can you imagine what delicate little thing you can make? Look how that is. Look at that, guys. Sound like Lisa. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe that's supposed to go together. I don't know. Very interesting. So I got one of those. And it's, it's, um, it just says ice yarn. It doesn't really say, it doesn't say what kind of it, yarn it is. Okay, so we got that. Then we got ice yarn and kuka. Ice and kuka. This is also a thin, very thin. Look at that. Peru Alpaca Fine. It's got 25% alpaca, merino wool, and acrylic. Man, you could put a couple of these together and make and uh, end up knitting something pretty with that. Very pretty. That's you saw that it's brown, and then I got ooh another ice yarn. Let's look at it. Might not be showing me. Ooh, I like this. This is more like a maybe a three maybe, and this is alpaca too. Yeah, it's a three. That says three. I wonder why that one doesn't have a number on it. Oh, it's a two. The brown is a two. <laughs> um, that this stuff, the the black and white or brown and white or whatever color that. That's pretty. I like that color. Isn't that a pretty color? It's like a greenish gray. And there's like eight of those. Oh, I could 
And I got two of these. This is wool spun cranberry. Wool spun cran cranberry. Um, then I got two of these wool spun thick and quick. Oh, I like this color. Look at that, isn't that pretty? This is um, acrylic and 20% wool. These, this is a bulky six and um, 87 yards. And it's a six, I said it was a six, didn't I? This is a five. The, the, the cranberry is a five. Whoa! Whoa! Three of these. I'm losing stuff here. All right, now stay still. Three of Wool Ease, and it's called Hudson Bay. Oh, that's pretty. And that's a six. Look at that. Pretty colors. I might have to try some wool and break out a little bit, but that's all right. Oh my gosh, I just don't know where to go here. I know, I'm crazy, huh? Then I have two of these. This is a six Astrolan. I love that. That's beautiful. See, it's better to have other people shop for you. Yeah, I don't shop for yarn. Not, not not there anyway and then I have oh I like this this is premier puzzle oh, I've never I've never touched this stuff oh, Harrisburg North Carolina it's 100% acrylic oh I'm gonna keep this for me and it's a five look at that oh, I love that this will make a great sweater and I got one two three four of them. I've never had puzzle before. I'm so excited. Oh, I've never had that before. And then I have, oh, is this soft? Oh, I've never had this either. Well, m most of the stuff I've never had before. This is a five bulky. It's called pl plum. Oh, knit. Oh my gosh. I knit something out of this. The color is blue green. That pretty, and I have two of those. Let me put that back in there. Then I have oh, scarfy. I love scarfy. I love scarf, and this is the taupe. I love this. I've made something out of the taupe. I love the taupe. Thank you so much. I love scarfy because scarfy's a five. So I got one of those, and I have one, two three of these yarn B 100% acrylic it's a 57 yards I got three of these the color is dusty sun oh isn't that pretty dusty sun that is pretty then I have one two three four five <gasps> It's yarn bee called Silk Soft Illusion, I think. French silk. Oh my gosh, is the color. Acrylic and, oh my God, it's a number. What a number is it? Oh, it doesn't say. If it does, I can't. Oh, number six. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the halo on that. It is so soft and it's, oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. My niece is gonna be so happy. Oh, that is so pretty. And I got six of those and I have one. Oh my God. I've never heard of this KC 
knitting. This is plush. you got to believe it's a five. Oh, it has got little specks of brown in it. Can you see the little specks of brown? It's like a light gray with little specks of lime. Color is called light gray. Well, that's what I said. And it's a five bulky. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm in love with everything. Everything. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, so I got bulky. Okay. The puzzle. Oh, I'm really excited about this puzzle. I love the color and everything. Everything. Thank you so much, Petra. Oh, I love it. Some of this bulky is going to go to my niece who has started crocheting. So I have a whole nice box for her. Now, it's, she was sending me baby yarn, and I'm, I guess this is the, this is just one box. Well, I ordered another box of baby yarn, and I don't know if this is the baby yarn or not, or whatever. So I don't know what she, so we'll put that in there. So I did order two boxes. Maybe I've got another box coming. I might be. Might. I don't remember. But I'll have to check. But thank you so much, Petra. I love it. I love it. I'm, you're going to do all my shopping from now. Oops. Here's what I just dropped. But oh, boy. And I love this, too. These are so pretty. They'll make gorgeous hats and stuff. Oh, my gosh. They're just gorgeous gorgeous I love it all stuff that I would never buy myself because I don't I can't stand up long enough to buy yarn that's another story so that's my thing from Petra Ugh. then I got another box where's my opener I haven't opened it yet. I'm sorry. Let me open it. And I hope I'm opening it on the right side here. Are y'all listening to me talk to myself in the box? Oops. Oh, God. I tell you, I'm in tight quarters right here. <laughs> Oh my God, wait till you see this. All right, let me put it back. Let me read this. Oh my gosh. Oh, these do have little handles on them. Okay. Dear Billy, my daughter and I have made some hats, booties, and bibs to go along with some blankets. We that we to go along we hope you can use them may send something else later love to watch you thanks for all the good things you do Rhonda and Wanda Rhoda Rhoda and Wanda gosh thank you all so much oh god you guys are not gonna believe this this is for a little boy well, let me show you Okay, for you grandmamas out there, look at this. This teeny weeny little hat, isn't that cute? And these teeny weeny little booties. Look at this. Oh, and look at the little booties have, oh my gosh, they're adorable. And look at this little bib. Look at this little bib, isn't that precious? And it goes with this beautiful blanket got elephants on it and look at that it's got a raccoon a mouse and it, it is blurred it it's sort of blurred on there and it's so soft so that's beautiful oh my gosh let me lay them back like she had them and I'll stick them back isn't that gorgeous it feels like it's made with cotton it is comfy cotton I recognize it because I'm making a I'm making a um, 
a top that I haven't finished. I finished one side of it and didn't do the second side. That's another work in progress. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is just beautiful. Oh, they're going to be so excited. All right, let me get this. She's got them all wrapped up with blankets. So let me just show you. Now, this is made just like the other one. There's something extra in there. But this is yellow. Hat booties. And on the bib, it's a little larger. Look, see, it's, and it's in cotton, so all you have to do is just throw it in the wash. Oh, it is so beautiful. Now, this is not made. This is made out of Simply Soft. I know that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Little yellow and the little yellow hat and the little blanket. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, the mothers are going to be so excited. And it was funny because this morning I looked and I said, well, I've got, I've got my stuff in here and a little of someone else's. And I was just waiting for another package to come in. And I will send this to... Um, um, to the reservation. I'm going to get this box up and get this out this week. I mean, I'll just, now these are all the same and this is the gray and look, they matched it up with the blankets. Oh my gosh. Just, they're just so cute. So they even put on there for boy and this one is for a boy. Let me get some of that air out of that one. And the yellow was for a little girl. Oh, look at this one. This is for a little girl. Look at that. The pink with the booties and the and then the solid, solid pink bib. Isn't that cute. That's a little girl. And this one is a boy or girl. A boy bib. Yeah, a boy. Oh, look at this one. Look at the colors. Aren't they beautiful? So they're all basically saying that's a boy. Oh, I love this color. And this is for boy. Wanda made the hat and um, Rona? Rona made the, um, the bib and the booties. Oh, how cute. Isn't that pretty? Look at the green. Isn't that pretty? It is so pretty. She got that down as a boy. Well, the boys are just out raking here. Oh my God, you guys, you will not believe how many are in here. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at this one. This is for boy, and this is in the blue. Look at that. Cute. So that's a boy. And this is a boy. This is in the gray and white. Okay, let's slide the boys over there because the girls aren't getting here. And this is for, this is the green, and this is for boy. See the green hat and stuff with the blankie. And this is another boy. Oh, this is pretty. Now, this is for a girl. Look at this, the pink and the green. Isn't that cute? This looks a little bit bigger than the others, which is fine. That's great. And then this is for a boy. This is in that blue again. Cute. So cute. Another boy. <laughs> Look at the colors. This is pretty. Isn't that pretty? Must be expecting a lot of boys at this reservation. Now we're getting down to the girls. Now we've got some girls coming. Oh, these booties are a little bit different. See the booties? They got little turned down tops. Isn't that cute? And then this this one's like the others, the little girl. Cute. That's cotton too. Oh my gosh. Put down the little girl in yellow. Isn't that pretty? 
Here's another little girl in pink and white. These are gorgeous. A girl in green. Oh, the mamas are going to be so happy. Another little pink one. This is for a little bitty baby. And the blankets are included. Oh, this is so much fun. Another pink one with a pink blanket. A green one for a little girl. Oh, that's so cute. Love that green. Pea green. Isn't that pretty? It's even got a little... No, that's the way it's folded. Okay. And the last one. Oh, this is cute. This is done with white. Isn't that pretty? I gotta count all these. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. These, I don't know how you stacked them in there, but I'm gonna just stack them in there because I gotta count, recount them all. The boys, let me put the girls in first. And then I'll count the, to count the boys. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. I am just so tickled to death to send these. And I'm going to call them sets too. Just like you've got them. Oh, how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. You ladies have been so busy. This is so wonderful. Ah, y'all have been so busy. This is just so wonderful. Isn't this something? Yes, I'm still collecting for the Pine Ridge Reservation for um, infant to toddler uh, size anything. If you go on their website, you'll see a list of stuff that they need, onesies, all that kind of stuff. If you want to send it directly to them, the address is below if you want to send it to me. I love to show everybody because other other podcasters, I mean, other um, subscribers and friends and crocheters and knitters love to see what you've done and um, get ideas to, to make themselves. Especially some people aren't uh, don't make a lot of baby stuff and they'll ask me for uh, a pattern for something simple I, and I, I can't help them there but they can always get in touch with you one of you guys wait a minute there's a little there was a little hair there on the on my nose <laughs> okay I know I should make a list of stuff but I just went one one I just kind of went around the room here um that's my gonna be my the damn it dolls that's gonna be my last batch for a while i've got um some bags to make i've got a bunch cut somewhere over here so i want to get those done um and i want to make some um some larger bags with some of the new material that i've gotten and i've got it all <clears throat> I've got it all cut in the other room and I need to just put the cut the lining for it so I wanted to work on some of that and I'm going to work on my house a little bit um, and I'm going to just work on the cow and try to catch up on some of the um, some of my whips that I've got going uh, that I need to catch up on stuff that I started for last summer that will be perfect for this summer because it is hot I went out yesterday to get my groceries and it was like I don't know about 90 degrees so it was it was pretty hot so I got groceries in in fact my refrigerator is flowing with food so yes yeah, so I'm just real excited and if you want a damn it doll I will repeat it please email me and um, they're made so I have to do is uh, once you pay then I, I go ahead and try to get them wrapped ahead of time. Um, now I, sometimes I get caught with wrapping things that people don't pay and then I have to unwrap. So I'm kind of doing that. And right now I had a special order for a yo-yo bag. And I am, um, last night I sat and I cut some, you know, the circles and stuff and I worked on those last night. I must have made, oh, I don't know. 
15 or 20 of them last night I still got a few more to go and then you have to start some it takes time to make those so um, anyway so I got an order for that and so I try to try to stay up with my stuff it's not so easy sometimes but most of the time I can keep pretty much on the ball um, let's see what else I'm working on some stuff for Laura what else am I working on I think that's about it oh gosh this is a tease oh shoot I found this Laura mad Mimi this is orange it is not red it's orange it is orange it's orange another do rag coming your way sweetie so and then I have a couple more that but I'm doing her some summer ones and this is petite and it's very light so she doesn't get too warm so I'm just trying to get her ready for the summer and I think she wanted something with goats so I gotta get some goats in here um let me think what else what else what else I think that's and speaking of goats look who we haven't heard from lately Woody <laughs> that's Woody my goat talking about goats yep I got all my little animals right over here so I gotta work on getting my room I mean I hello all my friends out there and TV uh, cell phone um, laptop iPad world YouTube world hello I'm Billy the crafty Floridian and this is gonna be a long video <clears throat> I think as soon as I clear my throat <clears throat> I haven't chit chat with anybody today. Oh my goodness, that looks like a bug. Ooh, it's a dead bug. Oh my goodness. It's a very buggy place, Florida. You never know when you're going to come across one. Anyway, it's quite warm. It's in the 80s today. Um, I'm, um, I got lots of things to go over with you. <clears throat> and so I would I think I'm going to start out with the damn it dolls so that way if you see one that you like you can get your but let me explain everything the damn it dolls are $15 and that includes shipping okay the way you order it is that you email me and my email address is always in the description below um, people make comments saying I like to order one but I don't have your um, email address I need your email address so that I can invoice you on PayPal you do not have to have a PayPal account to pay through PayPal you just have to go in and click and all that good stuff <coughs> excuse me <coughs> now um, I'm sorry that I can't answer every one of you guys but I'm doing the best I can um, I find that it takes so much I, I know I'm slow because my my hands are starting to hurt and they kind of lock up when I do a lot of typing and I want to first of all thank all the wonderful emails I've gotten and the stories that you've told me and I know that I would love to sit down and tell you a whole bunch of stuff but this is my my tool of communication is through the videos and email is just a little bit harder my mouth works better than my hands <laughs> but I am going to go through the comments and answer some of your questions um, I do not have a um, the pattern for the damn it dolls is something that I drew up myself I just looked at a bunch of videos and uh, pine rest pine rest pen rest 
Oh, I'm starting out good, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, so that's it. Coin purses, if you want the uh, a pattern for that, go on uh, Crystal at Bag o Day. She does a coin purse um, tutorial with um, uh, acrylic yarn, and you can do whatever whatever means of fiber that you want to use. You can use cotton or whatever. <clears throat> I have not made cloth coin purses yet, but it's something on my bucket list, <laughs> along with the other other stuff. Yeah, I have all these creative ideas, and I like following through on them. Um, I used to make Dammit dolls, crochet them, and decorate them. I'm not decorate them, accessorize them and all that stuff. And that got a little bit too much for me. So these Dammit dolls are made out of uh, fabric that I have left over from bags. And I give them a little hair, and that's it. I don't get a lot of stuffing. The stuffing happens to be the hardest on my hands. But uh, this weekend, I made a bunch. So I wanted to show them. Uh, some of them that I made... Um, I'll show you two that I made this weekend that I've already sold. Um, someone had asked for me to pick out two for their granddaughters, for her granddaughters. So I picked out Ladybug and Miss Blue. So those are two that I made this, this weekend. So, um, so these are already going out to someone else. Just to be clear, those are not for sale. I just wanted to show you those two that I made. <clears throat> okay, so let's start. Let me start here. This is this is uh, Miss Cat or Mr. Cat, whatever you want to say. These are cats, and he's got his gray hair sticking up. There's this little thing. So that's the first one. This is Miss Cat, and it's blue with the kitty cats on it. Is he cute? Isn't he cute? And this is Miss Wino. This is Miss Wino. And she's got, I should have put that in the back, shouldn't I? So she's got wine bottles all over her little body. And she's got a neat little hairdo that I designed for her. Yeah, you got to be creative with the hair because the rest of it is just mundane, right? So this is Miss Wino. I think she's cute. Look, I got the bottle right in the middle there. I love that, the white wine. And here's Miss Southwest. This is Miss Southwest. Is that the front? Yeah, that's the front. She's got little bangs, which keeps sticking up because of the way she has little hair. And so this is Miss Wine. This is Miss Southwest. I only have one of these. I I think each one of these are just one of each. So um because that's the way I like to do them. And they're my David dolls, so I do them the way I want them. <laughs> so this is Miss Southwest. A lot of people like this fabric. So uh, we'll see if we have any. I, I just think she's cute. Then we have Miss Spool. This is Miss Spool. And her fabric is scissors and pin cushions. This is a different one than the other one. And there and she's got a little embellishment in her hair and uh, I was lucky enough I got I had these little tiny uh, Lion Brand um, uh, sample yarns that someone sent me in different colors and I've been using those for the hair so that's that's color just just went perfect with Miss Spool so this is Miss Spool oh my goodness and pull out the other box okay and this is Miss Cow. Let me see, I got her hair. Here we go. Her hair is all over the place. This is Miss Cow. She's got a little cow pen in her hair. And she's in black and white. So I call her Miss Cow. And there's her cow. Where's her hair? Why is her hair up there? Oh, there we go. There we go. There she is. Miss Cow. She cute. I found this too in in some of my um, yarn that people had sent me all along. So this is Miss Cow in black and white. And I love this one, Miss Blueberry. Here's the blueberry. 
Let me see if I got it right. Yeah, this is Moose Blueberry, and here's her little ponytails. Isn't she cute? I just love her. But I love the blueberries. So this is Miss Blueberry with the ponytails. And here's Miss Daisy. This is Miss Daisy. And I made her out of this Daisy material. And she's also got ponytails. It seems to be easier with this yarn to put them in ponytails. But here's Miss Daisy. There she is. All full of daisies. And the blue, blue and white check on the blue and white check. Gingham or whatever you want to call it. So that's Miss Daisy. And here's Miss, Miss Flower, I guess. Miss Pink Flower. Pink Flower. This is Miss Pink Flower. And she's got her little neat little hairdo up there. And these are all pink, little pink flowers and yellow flowers. She's cute. She's got the braided look going there. And here we go with Miss Butterfly. This is Miss Butterfly. And this, I know y'all have seen this. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen this fabric around. And then I braided her hair. Look at that. She's got a braid down the back and a braid on each side. Isn't she cute? So this is Miss Butterfly.